Right. Right, this blue nose here is what's called H and G, head and gutted off a fishing boat. So it's a bit frozen through the centre, but this is all about filleting it, doing a clean job. So we'll get into it. So how long have you been involved with fishing, you Carl? Oh, I'm a farmer at the moment, but I've been doing the fishing industry for 25 years. Um, professional filleter for quite a while there. But um, now we're going to start on the backbone here. The idea is we want to cut down to the bone, nice and clean like this, run it along. I've got an entrance there, I'll show you what I've done into there. I'm going to pick it up again and push the knife through. Come back down, I can feel it's quite frozen, but we'll get there. Coming back through this way again. And what's the knife you're using there, Carl? This is a single bladed, single edged knife. If you have a look, the edge is all on one side and none on the other, exactly like a chisel. The reason being for that is when I'm going to run it down a bone, if my finger was the bone, I want to be able to run down there, cutting the meat off nice and clean. So, this edge would touch the bone, the sharp edge will do the cutting, and then I won't get it fouled. Okay, and what sort of fish is this place? It's a blue nose, the, the breed of groper in New Zealand. This is only a small one, but this is where the fishery's at these days. So, I've cut down approximately 50 mil there, and as I get down further, I'm just starting to hit the rib cage there. And I'll just have a bit more of a cut through there like that. And you can see it's coming off quite clean there. Yeah. I'm going to change my angle just a little wee bit. Come on through again. I'm just going to pull away from that rib cage just a bit more like that. Then I'm going to come down here. And you can actually see that the fish is a bit frozen here because it's quite white and looking grainy. Wow. So I'm going to come away there like that. Down through there. Down through like that. I'm going to leave the rib on it. Come through cutting it off clean. Wow. As you can see it's quite clean there, there's a little bit of meat here but I can't do much, it's, it's actually quite frozen there. Second side, we're going to roll, yeah. I'm going to follow the backbone along again like this, cutting it all the way right to the tail, pick it up again, put my knife in the opposite way and use the chisel edge of it. Again the fish is very frozen but we'll get there, cutting along. Now obviously we want to leave the fillet on the skin, nothing on the bone. I'm going to come through there, change the angle of my knife, back like that. Now I'm going to work the opposite. Coming down through like that, like that, and through there. And again, thanks for coming. Quite clean. Well done. And how would you cook this fish, Carl? How would you cook it? Um, usually, what I'll do, I'll actually skin it for you first. Nice. I'll show you how to skin it. Hold it there with your fingers, push into there like that, grab the skin and pull it tight, and we've actually gone through the skin. It's a bit hard, again, because of the frozenness of it, mm. it's not doing exactly what it should do. So we'll come back to that end, come into here like this, and we're trying to pull on the skin. The idea is to keep the skin tight, so the flesh just moves away from it. We're having a bit better luck this time. Through there like that. Pick it up again, like that, unfortunately it's left a little bit on it as you can see, it's just a matter of sorting it out. It's mainly doing this because of the frozenness of it, it's not really ready to be filtered. Coming through there, take that away, like that, like that, like that. Sort that out a bit. Alright, now we're at that stage, we'll clean that off. And what we're going to do is cut through there, like that. Take, there's a bit of bone in there. Take that away. Check through here for bone, clean meat. Check through here for bone, clean meat. Now, when you, you fillet your fish, very flat, like this. Don't want your fish much more than 10 to 15 mil thick. The reason being it'll burn on the outside and won't be cooked on the inside. Like that. Like that. And again, you can see it's still frozen. Mm. See the texture of the fish is not quite there. While I'm doing this, I can actually <coughs> feel a bone in there. And no one hates fish. Oh, that's Lots true. fish with bloody bone in it. Through like this and like that. Right now, from there, clean it in salty water. So water 
with salt in it, clean it, let it drip off a bit. Go and get some coat and cook. The chicken one, not the fish one. Put it in it, let it pick up the crumb. Fry it in equal amounts of butter and cooking oil until the coating is brown and it is number one. Yum. Sounds great. Hey, thanks for that, Carl. Bon appetit.